Hello viewers and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon X and Y Ranked Wi-Fi Battles. It's not, I guess it is an episode, it's not really an episode, it's an episode like series, but I'm going to call it an episode. Anyway, today we're back again with some more Pokemon X and Y Ranked Wi-Fi Battles. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to get on with it. I'm just going to get on with it. I can't speak. Straight onto the battle spot, we're going to get straight into this today guys. Um, yeah, I, I've got some new members of the team, we've seen some of them before, we haven't seen some of them quite yet. I've got Porygon 2 with Eevee Light. I, I guess you guys have seen them around, I haven't actually used one on the rating battles before. I used one on the stream last night, assuming this is going up Sunday, I think it is. Um, and I also have my Greninja back again, try them out again. Uh, we see uh, Azumarill is back again, my awesome Weezing is back yet again. Uh, my Alakazam is Mega, and I've also chose to include Blaziken here, guys. Um, just because, you know, I was struggling for a last member, and I thought, why don't we use Blaziken? It's overrated, but we'll use it anyway. And it's not like it's banned, like it is in Smoke on Tears. Our rating is now 1,405, so it's not looking good for us, guys. It's not looking good for us at all. I haven't won a huge amount of battles, really, have we? <laughs> um, such a bad battle. I'm just going to pop this open here. Drink some at the minute. And I'm batting someone whose rating is 1408, so they're slightly better than us. They're bringing a Kangaskhan, a Quagsire, a Clawitza, a Shuckle, a Crawdaunt, and a Klefki. So, no big threats there, apart from possibly the Mega Kangaskhan if they've brought one of those, but a very defensive team it looks like. Um, so, ooh, who do I want to take in? Who do I want to take in? Um, hmm. I think I'll take Blaziken definitely. Uh, Azumarill, I think, are taken as well, and Weezing, I might take in, because it looks like a lot of her uh, her members are physical. I think, you know, Kangaskhan's obviously physical. Quagsire, I think, is physical. If not, we've got Levitate for the ground type moves. Shuckle is just defensive in general. Klefki is support, um, and then Crawdron is physical, and Clawitz is probably special, but oh well. So I'm going to start off with the Azumarill, and then we're head heading with Weezing and the Blaziken. As I mentioned, the Blaziken isn't mega, guys, they so don't get too mad at me. <laughs> Um, I thought I'd just use, I haven't used, I haven't used Blaziken at all uh, in Wife of Battles at all, so, at all, I keep saying at all, I don't know why. Because I didn't use a Mega Blaziken in my playthrough for my Y, um, so I did use it on my X, I think, I can't quite be sure though. Anyway, okay, so a Japanese girl is issuing a challenge, because we can't read their names, but she's sending out her Klefki first, which could have been predicted because she's Klefki. So it's all about support, all about support here. Okay, what do we want to do for this Klefki? Um, well, we've got Waterfall, Superpower, Player of Aqua Jet. I think I'm going to go for the Waterfall, because we're well, obviously going to be faster than it, because Klefki's not really that far. Klefki's got Prankster, so it's going to be faster than us if we use the support move anyway. So we haven't really got anything to do about that. Uh, unless Aqua Jet goes first, I'm not quite sure if it does or not. If it goes before Prankster. But we're here for the Waterfall. Uh, Superpower will do neutral damage, and we don't get stabbed, so there goes a Reflect, so it's a screens Klefki, which is going to really hurt our offensiveness in the future. Let's see what the waterfall does. Probably not much because of the reflect coming up now. Indeed. Okay, it did half still, which is good because which means we can take it out after this attack. I'm guessing it's going to go for a light screen now. Yep, there's a light screen. So, um, you know, I think all the Pokemon I've brought in are, are physical attackers anyway. Actually, no, wait. Weezing is a special attacker, but it's physically offensive anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Fortune doesn't have any leftovers. It's probably kind of, Oh, come on. <laughs> we'll finish it off with the Aqua Jet here. Oh, Choice Band, obviously. So, it might switch out here. Who knows? Or I might just go for. Ow, I hit myself. Who knows? <laughs> Psychic, okay, I haven't seen that on the Klefki at all, uh, and as you can see it does nothing because Klefki is not offensive in the slightest, and that's why you don't put Psychic on a Klefki. What I, the only attacking moves I would put on a Klefki are Dazzling Gleam, um, or possibly, um, what's it called, what is it, um, Draining Kiss, that's the one. Dazzling Gleam or Draining Kiss, and then Play Rough, because obviously if you're facing a physical attacker, that's going to be very good there. Okay, so from what I remember, Crawdon is a physical attacker, so I'm going to get to Weezing here, who should be able to tank some hits, and we'll just hopefully last it out until... We can actually, um, you know, the screens fade away so we can actually get some damage off on this thing. But we'll have to see. It's Dragon Dancing on me. Which isn't brilliant, um, because it's setting up pretty much. Um, what can we do here? I just got to remember what Weezing has. Weezing has Sludge Bomb, Toxic Spice, Fire Blast, and Pain Split. Um, I'm a bit sad I haven't got Toxic on it, because obviously I'd use the Toxic now, most probably. But unfortunately I don't, so all I could do for it is the Toxic Spikes. That would just, you know, Toxic whatever comes out last, or if they switch this cord on out and back in. But I'm guessing they're not going to, because they're setting up. Um, Sludge Bomb is going to do half damage, I think, because I think water resists poison, doesn't it? From what I remember. So, I'm going to give the Sludge Bomb anyway, see if we can poison this thing. Uh, it's using Knock Off, which is going to knock off my Black Sludge, which, whoa! Critical hit! Man, that's not nice! 
almost took up my wheezing in one, and we did not get the poison off, which means we're dead now, so we can't do anything with the wheezing, because that critical hit, and obviously the dragon dance really doesn't help there, so all we can do is pain split and hope they just go for another dragon dance. Nope, there's the aqua jet, and that's that. So, um, I don't really see what we can do, unless we add to Azumarill, I'm not sure if it's carrying any grass type move or electric type move. Um, Azumarill is all we can go to. We have superpower on the Azumarill, and obviously we had to switch out because we were choice bound into waterfall, so we had to switch out anyway. It's got Aqua Jet, which is probably only a first hit. We've got Play Rough as well, rather than Superpower, which is a much better choice. So we'll Play Rough, and we'll see what they're going to do. They're going to knock off, which is going to knock off my choice band, which kind of sucks because um, we don't get the bonus anymore. But it doesn't mean we can switch around if we need to. Let's hope this actually, yep, it takes it out, which is fortunate. Uh, Crawdon's not too much of a tank. Uh, the real problem with Crawdon is adaptability, which I obviously put stab up to two times. So if you've got a super effective move that's stab, you've got four times extra damage coming off. So Claw Itza comes out now, which isn't going to be great for my Blaziken, so all we can do is get some more play rough damage off on it. Hopefully we're faster, but I'm not sure how fast Claw Itza is. It is faster than us. We're going to resist the Dark Pulse, however. Um, we don't take it. Didn't quite take it. So, down to Blaziken now. Blaziken is going to be faster. Okay, so Life Orb to Claw Itza, and there is a Reflect, which is good. Um, I don't think the, the Play Rough probably wouldn't have done just over half, maybe I'm not sure, with the Reflect up. But the Reflect's gone now. So, Blaziken comes out. We can't Mega, because we haven't got a Mega Stone. So, we can go for High Jump Kick, Earthquake, or Flare Blitz. So, uh, High Jump Kick we get the Stab from, however, it's lower accuracy. But that's all we can really do, because obviously a Water Pulse is going to come our way because of Mega Launcher. So all we can do is High Jump Kick. We're going to be faster than it, because Blaziken's a Speed Booster. We hit the High Jump Kick, um, and we finish it off. It's a close match. Close match, because obviously if we missed it, we would have probably gone there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That was a good game, actually. Yeah. Equally matched, pretty much. Apart from my Blaziken just sort of come at the end and destroyed. But if we had obviously missed it, that would have been the game to them, most probably. So yeah, because I don't think Earthquake would have taken it out, and Blaze Kick definitely wouldn't have, so... Yeah, it was a good game, was it, was it Flare Blitz I have actually, not Blaze Kick, so we're not saving the battle. We'll go and have, I think, one more, maybe we we'll have two more, I don't know. Having some quicker battles lately. So we'll continue battling, hopefully we get to use the Mega Alakazam this time, and maybe we'll throw in the, uh, the, the Porygon 2 and the Greninja as well, who knows? So yeah, we shall challenge, okay. My rating's gone up to 1421, so it's gone up by... Oh, we look, communications failed. Uh, so one f uh, 16 is it? No. Yeah, 16. Went by 16. So yeah, generally, oh, why am I going to win the trade? I need to get battle spot. Generally, you go up by um, about up or down by like 16, 18 points per time. Back to rating battle, and we'll see where we can go from here. <laughs> or well, back onto the rating battle, obviously. But you know, you guys get me. So we'll see what we can face this time. While I drink my sparkling water, I've opened. Summer fruits. Well, it's spring. It seems like win. Actually, oh, I clicked triple. Why did I click triple? No. Okay, single. That's what I want. Battle box. Okay. Yeah, still, we're still winter at the moment. Um, everything is very, very wet in the UK. <laughs> okay, so let's hope we can get a battle this time. I don't know why the communication failed. I think it's just the servers sort of saying, nope, no, nope, you're not having a battle. And just sort of dying. Okay, so Feek from the US. So actually batting a US person this time. <laughs> or an English person. Their rating is 1475, which is brilliant because uh, ours is a lot lower than that. Okay, so. They have a Venusaur, which could be Mega. They have a Greninja. They have a Gengar, which could be Mega. They have a Dragonite. They have a Snorlax. And they have a Horlucha. Horlucha doesn't have an item on it, so I hardly see that coming in. Uh, unless it's just to do with its ability, or maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, or, or Acrobatics, actually. Yeah, Acrobatics will be it. Um, so I want to take in who's special, 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 physical, physical, physical. So it's half, half. Um, I think I'm going to take Porygon 2 in here just for the extra boost. Um, Alakazam uh, has a move against majority of them, so I can take him in as well. And I think I take Greninja in to start off as well. So I take in pretty much the other three we didn't use. So hopefully uh, this, this works well. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who they're going to start off with, so they might start off with just, you know, I don't know. I don't know who they start off with. Hallucha, maybe just Acrobatic Sweep us. But hopefully Greninja will be in first. It should be able to outspeed whatever's on its team, unless it's obviously the other Greninja. But we can just see what happens there. They're going to send out Greninja. So yeah, Greninja v Greninja. Now they're both probably carrying Grass Knot. It's just whether they're maximum trained or whether... I I'm timid. It's just whether he's timid or modest. If he's modest, I'm going to outspeed. If he's timid, it's 50-50, I think. So it's going to be very, very worrying, I guess. Um, go for the Grass Knot. 
Um, yep, yeah, I'm going first. Grass, it might take him out because Greninja is really fragile. Um, but it is going to not take him out. And he's going for the grass, not myself. Which I'm going to resist, which is nice. So um, I'm guessing he's modest. So, yep, I'm, I'm guessing he's modest. I'm not quite sure. I, can't, I, can't, I don't know. He, he could be modest, or I could have just outsped from the 50 50 chance if they had this, exactly the same speed. Or he, could, he might have been max EV trained in speed. Oh, shit. Sorry, I just hit the fucking microphone with my stylus. We really need to put this thing down. I'm going to use the ice beam. Oh, choice scarfed. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, we'll go for the grass knot then. I forgot I choice scarfed this Greninja, which is, isn't a great idea because it means that uh, you know, I then have to use grass knot again. But they're gone now, so they are gone. I think they might guess I'm Choice Scarf, so they might send out their... What's going to be good against... What's going to resist Grass, rather? Snorlax is going to resist Grass, apparently. Although Grass Knot is done by weight. So I'm going to stay in, because we wouldn't have anything extra against him anyway. I'm going to for Grass Knot, which we're going to get stabbed from. He's going to be taking a lot of damage from that, because he's heavy. Um, or, you know, more damage. <laughs> he's going for the Toxic. I'm guessing he's Leftovers, because most Snorlax are Leftovers. Don't know what else he would be. Uh, he can't be Assault West. I don't know what Snorlax is good at anyway. Being a tank, obviously, but how much of a tank is the question. Okay, so I'm not sure what the Snorlax can actually do to us, so I'm going to go for the Grass Knot here. I don't mind too much if we lose the Greninja, because all I really use the Greninja for is getting off the bat, getting a few attack in there, you know, quickly. Um, and obviously it's taken out one Pokemon already, it's taken out the opposing Greninja. It's going for a rest, interesting. Uh, I'm guessing he's got, no, he's got left it, it was not chested very, rather, sorry. Um, can we take him out in the three turns that, you know, he's going to be, or oh, two or three turns he's going to be resting for? I'm not quite sure. We have the Alakazam, which has Focus Blast, obviously, so I might switch out to the Alakazam now. Mega, and then go for the Focus Blast, and see what we can do there. I hope it can take it out, I'm not sure. Obviously, Snorlax has a high attack stat, so that's really what it, it excels out there. Still fast asleep, which, isn't, which good, it is good, not is it even good, sorry. <laughs> sleep Talk, uh, of course. Why would he not be Sleep Talk? Toxic, uh, gets Toxic off of the Alakazam, unfortunately. Um, Alakazam's ability is synchronized though, because <laughs> um, it hasn't Mega Evolved yet, but it's failed because he's asleep, so that kind of sucks. If he was awake, yeah, but no. So we are hurt by poison, we should be able to get off the uh, the Focus Blast though. Obviously Alakazam's time in battle is now limited because it is toxic, which is unfortunate. We don't have any way to, uh, don't have any way to restore health points on the Alakazam, unfortunately. It's my first time using Mega Alakazam, so... I then get immunity, so I technically can't be poisoned. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> so even if if even if we ha he hadn't been asleep, the the top um the thingy oh, what I'm thinking of sleep talk. What's going to do? The um the synchronize wouldn't have actually poisoned him because he's got immunity. So he's going for a rest again, but he's already asleep, which is awesome. Um oh, so I just want to compare damages now. Because I'm not sure if I want to go for another Focus Blast, because obviously we just hit that one. So Focus Blast accuracy isn't the best, it's only 70. Um, we could go for the Psy Shock, that's an 80 power, that's 120 power. We get the 1.5 times off from that, which is 140, which is more, but this is 2 times effective, so that's a 240. Uh, and I don't think it would take him out, to be honest. So I'm going to go for the Focus Blast again. If we hit it, it takes it out, but he's withdrawing. He might have a ghost type, or we might just have something that re uh, resists it. He has the Dragonite, which is obviously going to resist it. Um, if we hit it at all. Oh, we do hit it, okay. So if, if he had stayed out, that Snorlax would have been gone. Okay. So that's gone there. And one thing that worries me is my tanker is Porygon 2, who just sort of like, if you hit it with a, uh, a Toxic, goes down. Are we going to be faster? We are faster. We go for the Dazzling Gleam. I'm not sure if it's going to take it out or not. It indeed is, because we probably got rid of the multi scale there. For what we did get rid of it. If it all Dragonite is carrying more to scale, let's say. Um, so obviously we got rid of it on the Focus Blast, which is good. It's a good thing we hit it. Because I don't think, if we hadn't hit it, we probably wouldn't have taken out the uh, the Dragonite, to be honest, with the Dazzling Gleam. So then Snorlax comes out again. I'm going to play it safe. I'm just going to go for the Psy Shock now rather than the Focus Blast. Oh, they forfeited. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. 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 <laughs> free one or free O technically, because I'm not sure if he would have been able to call it back. So... We can assume it's a 3-0 because they forfeited. So we'll get one more match in today. So at least we won a battle. We won two battles actually, which is awesome. Feeling good today. Feeling good. I've got to record at least another one of these episodes after this as well. So <laughs> um, battle box again. And hopefully we get a mix of those two teams. Because we didn't see Porygon 2 at all in that battle. We saw Greninja. Uh, oh shit, I clicked back. Um, and we saw everyone else in the first battle. So yeah, Alakazam went, put work in there. Put work in. 
So our rating is now 1439, so it's gone up by 18 there. So yeah, 16, 17, 18 seems about the same sort of thing. My computer's monitor's turned off, which is brilliant. <laughs> um, okay, so our, our opponent is Japan, is Japanese guy, rating 1407. So that's pretty much where we started off at the start of this episode. He's carrying a Charizard, an Azumarill, a Swampert, a Manetric, a Minchino, or a Cinchino actually, sorry, uh, and a Braviary. What do we want to take in for this? Um, Blaziken pretty much has something against all of them, I think, apart from maybe Swampert. Uh, if we just check its summary, it has, uh, has High Jump Kick, Earthquake, and Flare Blitz. So, Earthquake would work against Manetric, but then again, Azum, yeah, I'm not, not sure if Blaziken's a good idea here. Weezing, um, we don't know what, see, the problem with Charizard is you don't know whether it's physical or special, could be either. Uh, so, Weezing could be good, because I'm not sure Bravery is physical. Manetric special, physical, physical. I'm not sure about Cinchina. I'm guessing that's special, I'm not sure though. Uh, could take Weezing in here. Alakazam could be good because it has something against the majority of them. Um, uh, Azumarill, not great because that Manetric really. Greninja could be good though, and Porygon too. I'm going to take in Greninja, Weezing, and Alakazam. Uh, so mixing the two teams together there. I always like to start off with Greninja for some reason just because. It's going to be the fastest on the field, pretty much, unless one of them is Choice Scarfed. Um, so, yeah, I'm worried about Choice Scarfed Manetric, but it could be a Mega Manetric or a Mega Charizard. I'm guessing the Mega Charizard, um, because, you know, if there's a Charizard on the team, you're going to Mega Rip, because no one really uses normal Charizard too much, because it goes down fairly easily. Um, let's see, shall we? Let's see. What's coming out? So, yeah, the Charizard, Swampert, Azumarill, Cinchino, Thingy, and Thingy. Just forgot on the other two. So Greninja comes out, shiny! <laughs> uh, and out goes the Braviary. Okay, Braviary goes first. We have the Ice Beam, which is good. Um, he might get, he might predict me to have the Ice Beam, go for close combat or whatever Braviary carries. Probably superpower, I'm not quite sure. Uh, if, I'm not, I don't know what Braviary carries at all. Uh, it's taking ages to load, it would seem, so that's good. And a communication was interrupted, so that battle is not going to happen anymore. Oh dear. Oh dear. I don't know what, where it's my connection. I'm pretty sure it's not my connection. My internet's not dropping out at all. Um, I'm guessing it's theirs. We shall continue battling had this last battle. The reason I'm leaning my arm over here is because the radiator's there and it's warm. I like, I like warm. It's warm. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Maybe too warm with the fingers. Okay. So our rating is unchanged, which is good. <laughs> um, yeah. Let us see what we can do. We're starting to claw it back. We were like 5-9 at the start of this episode, and now we're 7-9. Isn't too bad. Isn't too bad indeed. So let's search, this opposing tri search for this opposing trainer. There we are, Angela, whose rating is 1497, which isn't great, because it's quite high. Um, okay, so she's carrying a Gelicent, a Tyranitar, a Staraptor, a Sizor, an Alakazam, and a Dragonite. So it could be Mega Tyranitar, Mega Sizor, or Mega Alakazam. Ooh, which ones do you want to go for here? Porygon 2 is just a general tank, so it could it doesn't have toxic, which is a problem, I think. Fine. Greninja, um got water type, uh, grass knot, ice beam, ice beam, dark pulse, dark pulse. I'm gonna take Greninja in because it's got pretty much something against everything but Sizor, so I'm take Greninja in first as usual. Um Special, physical, 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 special, physical. Weezing could be good to take in because it's mainly physical. They're mainly physical attackers there. Uh, Azumarill could be good for Tyranitar or I don't know. Uh, or the Dragonite actually, yeah. Okay, I take Azumarill on too. Blaziken could be um, uh, could be good for the Sizor because obviously Greninja can take that out. But then again, the Alakazam's there. And the Staraptor and the Dragonite, so I might just take in my own Alakazam there because it has a Shadow Ball, um, Focus Blast, um, Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, I'll take that in. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, uh, the only thing that might cause us trouble is the Size Orb because we don't have really have anything, really have anything against that, uh, apart from maybe Superpower on the uh, Azumarill. Uh, but we'll have to see. So, who is Angela starting off with? This first Japanese person we've seen hasn't got a Japanese name. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing. I don't know why. Maybe it's just someone who's got a Japanese 3DS in the US or something. Okay. So let's wait for it to load. Just talk my clothes out when I'm doing that. <laughs> oh, it's being really slow today. I don't quite know why. Taking ages to load the battle. Don't know why. 
are actually taking forever. There we are, Angela is issuing a challenge, finally. Let's do this, Angela. Greninja comes out first, because Greninja has everything, wants something against everything apart from Sizor. Here comes the Alakazam, okay. So we're going to be faster, because we're Choice Scarfed. Um, so no nothing can outspeed a Choice Scarfed Greninja, come on. So we'll go for the Dark Pulse, they might switch out to... Uh, Tyranitar would be the, the switch out, but I'm not sure. We shall see. Are they going to switch out? Are they going to stay in? No, nope, they're staying in, okay. Switch to Dark Type, we might be able to last this day. Obviously going for a Focus Blast, and the Alakazam... Oh, it's Focus Sashed. It's focus Sashed! Here comes the Focus Blast. Oh, okay. Um, that's a bit weird. Um, I guess they didn't predict the Dark Pulse, or probably figured that they could last... Uh, could take that attack better, which obviously they could not. Um, because they're now left on one health point. Oops, almost missed misclick there, but then again I'm choice scar so I can't use anything else. They then might then switch out here, they might think, oh no, oh no, <laughs> and switch out, but we're choice scarfed anyway, so yep, they're switching out here. Probably to Tyranitar if they're carrying it, and no, they're carrying Staraptor instead, interesting. Now I think we're still going to be faster than Staraptor. I've been outsped by a choice scarf Staraptor in the past, however, we are choice scarf Greninja. We are, we are choice scarf Greninja, innit? So I think we can still outspeed. The close combat's obviously coming, but can we be faster? I think we can. Um, I've, I've already, yeah, we are. Okay, cool. And that's the Staraptor gone. So that's Staraptor gone and the Alakazam down to one health point. So it's going well, guys. It's going well. <laughs> uh, we could be looking at three wins today. Depends what their last Pokemon is. It's most probably a Sizor. If it's Sizor, we could be in with, with some trouble here. But if it's anything else, we should be good. Should be good. Jellicent will obviously just go down to it in one. It's a Jellicent! Oh! Je I don't know if it'll go down in one or maybe two, but obviously we're at maximum health points anyway, so. Yeah, we could be looking at a Greninja sweep here. Greninja could be doing some work! Could be doing some work here! What are they gonna do? Obviously, obviously they're gonna stay in because they just switched out to it, but Jellicent is gonna, yeah, it's gonna take it four times. Will O Wisp is going to burn. Oh, I avoided it as well, but it wouldn't have been helpful anyway because we were a special attacker. It would have just done some extra damage to us, pretty much. So, let's go for the dra Dark Pulse. The Dragon Dragon Pulse. <laughs> dark Pulse again. Obviously, if they switch out, the Alakazam's going down, so they have to stay in. Uh, unless they want just want to sacrifice the... Uh... <laughs> okay, there's forfeit. So, that's the third win, because we would have taken that. We would have just taken that Jellicent in two more turns, and the Alexander would have gone down in one as well. So Greninja is technically a Greninja sweep, even though it wasn't great, because they they, uh, they quit. But yeah, three battles, three wins. It was a good day today, guys. <laughs> it was a good day today, guys. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm about to go and record another of these episodes. So um, yeah, communication interrupted, because they obviously just went BOOM! Turn off! <laughs> so yeah. Or just turn off the uh, turn off the internet and all that. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, we shall not save that because it was a bit of a failed battle <laughs> for them at least. We shall not continue battling. We shall quit now. So, guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed filming it. I shall see you next time, guys. Thank you for my friends for watching. That's mix up. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.